Hello friends, if you are facing problem to drive traffic to your site, then this video is for you. Because in this video, I have invited 10 plus experts uh, who are going to share their best strategies to drive traffic to a new site both with and without SEO. So watch this video till the end because you are going to get a lot of strategies which will definitely help you to drive a good amount of traffic to your site. So watch this video till the end. So how to get the traffic to a blog? That is the most commonly asked question in the newbies because starting a blog is easy but driving the traffic or I would say driving the quality traffic on your blog is difficult. This is an art. Driving traffic on any blog is an art. Right? So first of all I would like to thank Mr. Sumit for starting this video series because I know that this is going to help a lot of newbies and they will get the crystal clear answer to this particular question and I hope they will not ask this question again in the future. So let's learn that how can you drive the traffic to your blog with SEO and without SEO. So let's learn that. So the very first tip for all of you is if you want to drive the traffic without the SEO is go there and find other good blogs in your niche. Contact all of those bloggers and then start writing the guest articles on those blogs because that is the bulletproof way many of the top bloggers has already used this formula and even till today many top bloggers are using it right go there in your industry see what are the top blogs and then start writing the guest articles on those particular blogs second method you can do is you can go to quora.com quora.com is a great platform where you will see a lot of people asking the questions in every industry just go there and then see what are the questions people are asking in your category in your niche and once you find all those questions participate in them answer those questions help the people to get the answers and here is one formula once you start giving the answers to other people in your niche then they will start noticing you and now you can start inserting the links of your articles in Quora answers people will visit your blog and this is how you will get the free traffic right this was the second method third method the free method because we are talking about the free methods only right now you can go to youtube and now you can start creating the videos also now people are going to watch those videos and in the video description you can insert the links of your blog posts this is again a great method and many bloggers are using this method and they are driving very quality traffic on their blogs so these were the three methods to drive the traffic without doing the seo now let's talk about the seo so seo first of all is a very subjective term because for one guy seo can be easy for another guy seo can be difficult it all depends that in which particular level of your blogging career you are right now if you are a complete newbie then there are so many technical terms which you will have to learn right and it will take time but if you are a blogger who is doing blogging from last three years four years or five years then you know what seo is so the bulletproof method for you is again guest blogging because once you start doing the guest blogging now you will get the quality backlinks from the other top bloggers who are in your niche and those backlinks are of very high quality backlinks because you are getting the backlinks from the relevant bloggers second method you can do is you can do broken link building you can see the broken links on other blogs and now you can contact them you can outreach them you can tell them that this particular link is broken and here is my link please replace the broken link with my live link so this way you are helping other bloggers and you are helping yourself by getting the quality backlinks from those articles so these two are my favorite methods to create the backlinks guest blogging and broken link building right so i hope you will get the value from this video now start taking the action because nothing will work if you don't take the action if you keep watching the videos like this and don't take the action then nothing is going to work right now it is your turn to take the action i hope you liked my tips and thanks for giving me this opportunity to interact with you thank you so much
Hi everyone, this is Anil from bloggerspassion.com and thanks a lot Sumit for inviting me to be part of this video roundup post. So coming to the question, how to drive more traffic to a new website from SEO? First of all, I would say don't forget about keyword research. None of your content should go live on your website without proper keyword research. You should have one primary keyword and then few additional secondary keywords for each and every content that you are creating on your blog. Since you have a new blog, so you should go for the keywords for which the competition is less. Try to find out the keywords for which the keyword difficulty is less than 50. Also try to find out the keywords for which the monthly search volume is less than 500. Once you have decided the primary and secondary keywords for your content, it's time to use your primary keyword few times within your content. Apart from using your primary keyword, you should be using some LSI keywords, which are synonyms or related keywords around your main keyword. Since you have a new website, so you can't rank for money keyword on the basis of this content. You have to create some high quality backlinks for the contents that you're creating. To increase your chances of doing well for the contents that you're creating, try to create at least few high quality backlinks for the contents that you're creating on your blog. What else can be done to drive more traffic to a new website? You can create a video version of your content and then upload that on YouTube. In place of doing the video in English, where the competition is really high, you can do the video in your regional language that can be Hindi, Tamil, Telugu or whatever language you are good at. Apart from that, you can go to Quora kind of websites, try to find out some relevant questions and try to answer those questions. Think of linking to your blog contents in few of your answers in a natural way. This is also a good way to drive more traffic to a new website. If your contents contain lots of visuals, which are quite interesting, then you can think of becoming active on Pinterest or Instagram type of websites and try to submit few of interesting contents with the recommended visual size on these websites. I hope all of these tips will help us drive more traffic to a new website. Thank you so much. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Akshay Hello from Blogging Geeks and the question is how to get traffic to a new website with or without any backlinks. First of all, let us know the role of backlinks. Backlinks alone won't help you rank your content. Backlinks are like positive upvotes or a validation factor for the quality of content on your site. For example, even if you drive tons of backlinks for a poor content, it it may rank for a couple of days or weeks, but eventually the rankings will come down because user engagement is really important, right? Quality content along with quality backlinks make a difference in rankings and drive more traffic. So when your site is new, don't worry too much about backlink building because you don't have quality uh, content, uh, enough quality content on your site, right? There is a concept called link velocity. It refers to the rate at which uh, you are building backlinks for a website. So the rate, like the number of backlinks that you build for your website should be directly proportional to the growth of content on your site. So when your site is new, you don't have any content and you drive tons of backlinks, it raises a big red flag in eyes of Google, right? You need to make your backlinks appear as natural as possible. When your site is new, focus on quality content and get uh, social media referral traffic, um, uh, just focus on social media promotion and also get direct traffic. Once you have around 10 blog posts and when once your site is around one to two months old, then you can start uh, backlink building slowly. Uh, like don't be aggressive uh, when it comes to new websites. So hope it answered your query. Have a nice day. Thank you. Hi guys, so just a quick video on how to drive traffic to your website with and without SEO. So <coughs> obviously starting out, you can drive traffic to your website 
using your social media, so building up a good social media following. You can use paid ads on social media, which also drives good traffic. Paid quota ads also sends a lot of traffic. You can also make videos in YouTube, also send traffic to your website. Um, LinkedIn, um, you know, drive traffic to your website that way, uh, using LinkedIn automation and just making sure that your um, website and everything's prominent on your profiles. Um, you know, forums, answering, populating good information on there is a good way to drive traffic to your website as well. Obviously, when you start out a campaign, you have to allow yourself a chance. You can't just go and rank overnight. But what you can do is, is pick off some easy wins when it comes to keyword research, some long tail stuff. So doing some blogs about specific stuff like how to set up a Facebook account, how to how to add content to a page or, you know, loads of different stuff. It depends on really what you're trying to rank for. Um, but how to's and answering questions that the public generally answer is also a good way to making sure that you do start to rank for a whole bunch of long tail keywords without doing too much in the way of SEO. But as your SEO progresses, obviously what you want to do is build out some good solid content and uh, build out some supporting articles around that good content, just catching a whole bunch of other search terms <coughs> and basically follow what the competition's doing. I think, uh, but the most important thing is trying to get traffic and engagement onto your website while your SEO is kicking in. That traffic and engagement and long tail keywords can take you a long way, but don't get lazy with it. Try and consistently continue to, to grow your social um, and anything else that can drive traffic to your website because you don't want to be solely reliant on SEO traffic anyway because Google do updates like they have just done at the start of May and people see a massive impact but if you've got a lot of traffic coming from a lot of different sources it doesn't hit you as hard as SEO so I think overall having a good mixed campaign of some paid social and um, you know building an email list um, and all of that kind of stuff is certainly the way forward and certainly for me you know building up a YouTube channel to be able to drive traffic into web, my website that way because YouTube's algorithm is a hell of a lot less aggressive than Google's is a good way to set up a decent overall campaign but whilst doing that driving traffic um, and everything else it does help your SEO obviously Google are looking at pages on your website that get engagement click-through rate time on website and all of these small things are um, signals themselves but it does come down to the, the basics is the same way it always has been you know in terms of doing SEO for your website good technical a good solid foundation um, good content good links um, good citations if you're doing local stuff and um, so if you want to do the GMB thing then make sure that you do have some good citations thrown into the mix as well um, so that is my kind of top tips for helping you out with kind of low, uh, you know, beginning and, and using other platforms to drive traffic. One last thing, just do webinars and videos like this as well also helps. So yeah, hopefully that helps. Thank you. First of all, uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity, Sumit. And uh, so what I normally do when I build a new blog, I, I wait for my contents to get indexed and then I start building my social media profile for my website. Like usually I build Facebook page, Twitter page and I do press release. I do outreach to uh, bloggers for giving me a contextual link or a banner. Uh, I just purchase press release for my blog and I do outreach bloggers in my uh, niche to get contextual link or I even sometimes buy banners on their website to get a good quality traffic. If you are a new blogger and you want to start blogging and you don't have that much budget so what you can do is you just go to some relevant forums some groups and communities and you can simply participate there like for the first like two three weeks you can just wait 
and for a perfect movement you can just learn how these forums work how people are questioning and uh, what type of answer they are expecting so once you understand that you just simply have to reply to their queries for example you can give them a link whenever it is possible so what you can do is like uh, simply give a link of your blog as an answer and you, you, whenever you are writing a contents just give a link to multiple of sites and you can just mention your website along with them apart from this i also do this thing like when i uh, try to create a blog post i try to create a unique graphic for my content so it can be a normal image or it can be an infographic or you can simply hire someone or you can just uh, buy some fiber gigs because they are also providing such type of services you can just build quality links from them like by submitting such images infographics on info graphic submission sites and on image submission site such as pinterest is used right now so if you can manage to get attention of the users you will definitely going to get a lot of traffic from that and uh, apart from this you can try some question answer sites like quera it's quera has good audience right now and uh, you can just simply answer their question and just like i mentioned that you just have to mention two three links along with them apart from this build a video and you can just publish your video on your youtube channel so it will definitely going to help you for a long run so uh, i believe these are my top 3 methods to drive traffic to a new blog when i don't have a much budget and all of them are pretty much quality sources like youtube reddit quora and yeah infographic submission pinterest this all are pretty much quality uh, and they will give you a relevant traffic quality traffic thank you if you want to drive traffic to a new site both with seo techniques or without seo it's really going to be a similar goal a similar intent because these days google forces you to honor the basic fundamentals of driving traffic to any website that is create helpful content and build meaningful connections. So the only difference between the two guys is that if you want to do this with SEO in mind, thinking about search engines, you'll want to get a real handy plugin that helps you add all the tiny little SEO details like writing the right meta description and having the keyword in there with the right proper uh, frequency and also having your blog post properly formatted again and again for the new post you're publishing to your blog. So really guys, there's a few basic fundamentals you got to stick to. Create problem-solving helpful content that inspires your readers to overcome their obstacles. Build relationships with fellow bloggers by commenting generally on their blogs, by mentioning them on your blog, by mentioning them on social media, as you keep helping other bloggers, you will develop friendships with these folks who will then give you links organically, aka backlinks. So then whether it's SEO wise, they really love backlinks, they love quality backlinks organically built, or even if you're not trying to do it for SEO, you're going to get sweet backlinks, exposure, traffic and then, you know, long-term profits. through these type of tactics it really comes down to generously helping people for free and not getting attached to outcomes and i think that's where a lot of bloggers really mess up when they have a new site they start blogging and they're like what about my traffic what about my profits i'm just a new blogger i can't do those things you're going to have to wrap up those limiting beliefs in your mind and throw them out and get back to just creating helpful content that solves your readers needs on one topic because Google likes the authority and so do your readers and then you want to build bonds with other bloggers so you'll be really generating a ton of very high quality backlinks organically you won't have to ask for any backlinks because your friends as long as you keep creating helpful content will link to you without you even asking them so that really will help you succeed without doing SEO but then if you do SEO the key will again be downloading a cool plugin that really helps you hit on those SEO details. One thing I will add, guest posting is phenomenal for getting organic high quality backlinks. So as you're building those relationships with bloggers, make sure that as you're putting the content out there and people are inviting you to guest post on their websites, make sure 
again, that these blogs are in your niche, but begin publishing helpful guest posts. Again, problem solving on these respected blogs in your niche and the backlinks you generate through these guest posts will boost your SEO game and also they'll just boost your overall business game and your traffic game if you're not focused on SEO. Those are the fundamentals, guys. Hi, Sumit and Blogging Lip Readers. Thanks for having me. First off, sorry for the unkempt hair look and the beards. We are all in social isolation, so that's it. And if you are a new website and you want to bring SEO traffic through SEO to your blog, I would suggest the, trying the golden keyword golden ratio formula. It is a formula where you have to uh, divide the number of titles that have the keyword for your that have your target keyword in the search results divided by the total search volume of that keyword. So and it should be less than 0.25. Suppose you are having a keyword uh, best dog food. So you have to search all in title on Google and uh, get the number of search results and suppose the search result is 2500 total uh, 2500 websites are appearing in, on google with the uh, primary keyword in their title you have to divide it by the search volume suppose the search volume is 500 so divide 2500 by 500 and if the search if the answer is 0 0.25 or less that's the keyword you should go for i'll have uh, don't worry don't get overwhelmed i'll have sumit link the um, a guide to keyword golden ratio formula in the description below and suppose you want to get traffic to your new website without trying SEO the best thing I would say is try connecting with influencers have them interviewed on your blog interact with them share their blog posts provide value to their audience join their Facebook groups and then you can use that uh, traffic their network to reach their audience I initially it will be difficult but gradually you will find a place and if you provide true value selfless value to the community you will get recognition and traffic i hope this helps thanks for having me thank you sumit for inviting me in this roundup post hello everyone this is shantanu and in this video i'm going to share few of the working strategies that i personally follow to bring traffic to a new website now for a new website definitely it is very difficult to bring traffic through seo because that particular domain doesn't have much authority the domain doesn't have much uh, trust from the search engine point of view but that doesn't mean that you will not be able to bring organic traffic to that particular website here one of the proven strategies that if you are able to find out those low competition keywords related to your niche then definitely you will be able to target those keywords and you will be able to get a good chance to rank them so here what you can do you just try to find out those low competition keywords or those long tail keywords where you can initially target some content so for example let's say you have a blog or you are starting a blog on seo or wordpress so just starting a blog if you like start writing on the content like how to start a blog like what is seo so these kind of topics will be very difficult to rank because already many high authority blogs are ranking on top for those topics this is just an example now in this niche if you want to start a blog just try to find out what are the like low competition search terms or low competition questions people are asking in the uh, like um, internet and they are looking for the answers so just try to capture or try to find out those kind of uh, keywords write some in-depth article around those questions around those topics and publish them in your blog as those kind of topics or those kind of keywords has very low competition you will get a good chance to rank them high definitely it will take some time to reflect in uh, search engines but this is the way as a beginner or this is the way you can like plan your new website to get some organic traffic now while writing the content you have to understand that on page seo is the major factor which will help you to get ranked and as a beginner or uh, like you say if it is a new website i will not recommend you to start creating backlinks like aggressively you must focus on creating high quality content on your blog initially and definitely those content should be around those keywords which are having very less competition so this is the only strategy I believe uh, for a new website you can follow and 
at least in few weeks you will be able to get some organic traffic through SEO. Getting organic traffic to a new website even if you are doing the very good SEO it is challenging. So what you can do you can definitely follow the other like strategies that I personally follow to bring traffic to a new website. One of the most popular and much effective way is getting traffic from platform like Quora. So Quora is a question answer platform where millions of people are visiting every day. They are searching for their problems and reading the solutions. So what you can do, whatever is your blog niche, if you can find out those questions and if you can write proper answer with like relevant images, charts, videos and everything, just create a beautiful answer which will solve the user's query, answer the user's problem and during answering the question you can make sure that you can link your website now this way what will happen those millions of people who are searching for those questions they will read that answer and few of them will definitely visit your website so Quora is the best platform to attract a huge amount of referral traffic without doing anything but you have to write a very good answer if you want to bring the like good amount of traffic so definitely you try this but make sure that you don't like link too many articles in every answer because Quora is a very strict policy if they ban your account then you will lose this golden opportunity to get referral traffic to your blog so this is one technique the second technique what I believe is that is the social media so social media is a very powerful platform majority of the people we are spending time in social media so what you can do so while writing content you can make sure that you are linking few of the articles of your like influential people for example you are working in a particular or maybe your blog is in a particular niche just try to find out who are the top bloggers of that particular niche just make sure you are linking few of their articles and while sharing that article in social media make sure to tag them you can tag them in facebook instagram twitter everywhere so that they get notified that in your article you have mentioned their articles so what will happen in this way this way you will be able to start building a relationship with those bloggers and definitely i'm sure few of them will or maybe in in, in many cases almost everybody will recognize it and they will appreciate your work and they will share your article in their groups in their social profiles and this way your blog even if it is new it will get a huge exposure in front of many many audience so these are few of the most powerful ways as a beginner you can bring traffic to a new website SEO should be your long term strategy because SEO will take some time you need to build like backlink quality backlinks gradually you need to do the on page SEO regularly you audit your website regularly so that you can fix like different SEO related query problems and this will gradually reflect in Google or any other search engine in like few months it may take three to six months time to reflect all the SEO related work and give you the organic traffic but if from the beginning from the day one you can follow the other steps to bring referral traffic from let's say social media question answer platform like Quora then you can go for block commenting and this kind of techniques so I hope uh, I'm able to explain the uh, like uh, working strategies that personally I follow to get traffic to a new website and I'm sure it will help you also Thank you for watching this video. Driving traffic to a new website using SEO is not easy. If you are doing the white hat SEO only, this may take several months before you see any organic traffic growth from search engines. But the good thing is, there are ways using which you can drive free traffic to a new blog without SEO. Hey Digital Learners, I am Rahul from LearnDigitalWithRahul.com and in today's video, you will learn how to drive free traffic to a new blog. First, I'll teach you how to drive traffic without SEO and then how to drive traffic using SEO. So without any further delay, let's get started. If you have a brand new blog without any fan following, the best thing you can do is you can leverage the following of other authority bloggers in your niche. There are two ways you can do this. Number one, create a list of popular bloggers in your niche and invite them for a blogger interview on your blog. Most of them would be glad to accept your proposal, but if someone doesn't, you may simply move on to the next blogger on your list. And when someone accepts your proposal, come up with good quality questions that might mutually benefit your audience as well as the person whom you are interviewing. And this helps in two ways. Number one, as you are a new blogger, you may learn a lot from their experiences. And number two, 
When the post is live, you may request them to share your blog post with their audience. And since they have already built an existing loyal audience, when they would share your post, this would bring a huge chunk of free traffic to your blog. And by the way, here is a pro tip. Make sure you set up your blog properly for email collection and list building. Because if you don't collect emails from visitors, most of them might not even return later and all your hard work will be wasted for a short term gain. Therefore, you must learn how to funnel that free traffic to build your blog audience. All right, the second method to drive free traffic is doing the expert round of posts. Just like this video, you may reach out to the expert authorities in your niche and ask them a particular question related to the challenges or anything related to your niche. I know this might seem confusing, so let me illustrate it with an example. Suppose you have a blog in the fitness niche. So what you will do is simply visit Facebook and search for the fitness niche groups. Ideally, you are looking for groups with a good number of members and engagement. Once you find such groups, simply contact the admins of each of these groups and ask a question. For example, hey, first name, I noticed that you own a Facebook group in the fitness niche with the tough time going around due to Corona. I know maintaining fitness during lockdown is tough. What are some unique ways you would suggest to stay fit while staying at home? I am planning a round of posts featuring your answer with 30 other fitness experts. The deadline is 30th May. Let me know what you think. Looking forward to your response. Thanks, your new fan, Rahul. Well, don't worry. You may either screenshot this or simply ask me and I'll provide this template for your use. All right, send this to various admins or authorities in your niche. And once you get an answer, simply create an expert round of post and publish it on your blog. After the post is published, you may contact them again and let them know that the post is live now. Also request them to share your post if they like it. If you are a complete beginner, you may use this template. Hey, first name. Thanks for your response. I am amazed by your contribution. The post is published now and live on the web. Here is the link. I would be so glad if you check it out and let me know what you think. Also, if you like it, please feel free to share it or simply tweet it out. Again, thank you so much for your time. Regards, Rahul. And once you send this, most of them would be glad to share your blog post with hundreds or even thousands of their audiences. And this can bring a good chunk of free traffic to your blog. But again, keep in mind that you should have your tech set up so that you don't let those visitors go away without taking their contact information. Well, this is how you can drive free traffic without SEO. But as I promised earlier, here is how to drive free traffic using SEO. While your blog is new, you may learn keyword research, on-page SEO, link building and other crucial skills to get free traffic from search engines. But oftentimes this takes time. And that is why I don't recommend new bloggers to entirely rely on SEO. Instead, my recommendation is leverage the benefits from SEO authority of other popular sites. I term this parasite SEO technique. Just like parasites, you are basically living on the SEO juice of other authority sites. For example, Quora is one of the most popular platforms on the web today. According to Alexa traffic stats, it's one of the top 250 sites on the internet. In fact, their SEO is so effective that you can search for almost anything and you will certainly find some search results from Quora in the top 10 Google search rankings. So why not leverage their SEO authority for free organic traffic just like a parasite? Simply create a free Quora account, set up your profile and start answering questions related to your blog post. While answering the questions, you may smartly insert a link to your blog post and promote your stuff as well. But keep in mind, your primary goal should be to educate others by sharing your expertise rather than spamming. Otherwise, if you are caught spamming, they might terminate your account as well. So this is how you can use Parasite SEO to get free organic traffic. And well, Quora is just one example. There are many other such platforms as well. I hope you found some value out of this video. If yes, please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below or personally me on social platforms. I'll try my best to help. Thanks for watching. I'm Rahul signing off. Hey Sumit, uh, thank you so much for inviting me on this awesome roundup video. I'm glad to share my views about getting website traffic without SEO.
Please do not mind my setup here. It's locked down in India and I'm recording this video with the help of my phone. So before telling you the strategies that I follow to drive traffic on my blog, I want to tell you guys something that SEO is like life. It needs patience. Remember the blog post, the backlink, the shares, whatever you are doing for SEO, it will take some time. So you have to be, you have to hang in there. And one more thing I just want to tell you guys, when I started uh, blogging, I was ignorant about SEO. I understood SEO means ranking, but SEO is something else. So what I did when I started, I was not following keyword research. I was not following the basic SEO metrics. But I was fortunate enough to understand that whatever I'm doing is wrong. And then I switched to the conventional SEO methods like doing proper keyword research, interlinking my articles and many other things. And that boosted my ranking a lot, trust me. And I was also very shy to promote my content on the social media because I thought I'm new and whatever I'm sharing, no one would be interested at knowing that. But trust me guys, I was wrong. There were many people and still there are many people who are interested to read my content, who are happily sharing my content. That we, what, what does that mean? That, that means they are reading the content, they are getting values. And after that, they are going ahead and sharing it with their friends so that they can get the values as well. So if you are a new blogger and you are not getting enough traffic, then you should make sure that your site is loading within one to two seconds. That's the number one parameter you should follow. Along with that, you have to make sure that your site is mobile friendly. And along with that, you have to interlink in your old contents, the old blog post, so that you can pass the SEO juice over there. And you can also, you know, get some traffic on the old post. You can also add FAQ schema on your blog post so that search engine can know what type of content you are publishing. And along with that, you also have to focus on the referral traffic. I understand organic traffic is excellent, but when even you and nobody knows you, then you should focus on referral traffic to get more attention and eventually you know you'll be able to establish your authority and you can get more sales, more traffic and more growth to your business. So in order to get referral traffic or in order to get traffic without doing on-page SEO, you can rely on websites like Quora, Pinterest, Facebook, Medium, Reddit and so on. So if you have any concern about getting traffic, you can leave a comment uh, in this video and we'll be happy to help you. Uh, thank you so much. You have a good day.